Hello everyone, so today we are going to be working with the Ruby Gem Pry. Specifically, we are going to be using Binding Pry within our code. I have chosen a more simple nested data structure using an array of hashes. So let's get started. First, to make sure that we have Pry in our terminal, we are going to type gem list Pry. It looks like we already have it. If we didn't have Pry, we can install it from our terminal with gem install Pry. I'm not gonna do that. I already know it's installed. And second, we are going to make sure that we require Pry. So we are on line two. We can see we've already required Pry here and we are good to get started using Pry. Pry is a really great debugging tool. Binding Pry, we can use an insert into our code. We can use it to test variables. And today I'm gonna to use it to show a little bit about how we can iterate through an array of hashes using the each enumerable and just show how that iteration actually looks. Sometimes working with a larger nested data structure is a little bit difficult to understand how that iteration may look. Um, I'm hoping that this provides a little bit more clarity on how you can set that up so that you can better understand the iterations as well as we can find the values of color hash, key and value, and what we should expect them to output. A few things that you need to know before you're going to set up your pry is that we need to execute our method or our code before we run binding pry. On line 19, you can see we've already executed our code here. Um, so we should be good to go with that piece. Now I want to show how I want to show how the iteration through this array of hashes on line eight is going to look. So I'm going to put a binding pry below each of um, the iteration. So we have uh, each enumerable. So below each line that has that, I am going to put a binding dot pry to show how um, we are iterating through this array of, ha of hashes. And we are going to run our code to do that. We type in Ruby and then the file name and we are good to run. Now we can see we've hit our first binding pry on line 12. We have an arrow next to it and we can see that we are in pry down here. It says pry and now we have access to our data. It knows our array of hashes. Um, we only have access to the data that is going to be above the binding pry. So we don't have access to any of the data from line 13 down yet. We can figure out now what our color hash is simply by typing in color hash. And color hash is our first hash right here in our array. So we've iterated once into the array and we have come up with our first hash. Now, if we want to exit our current loop and iterate into our second loop, we are going to type into our terminal exit. And now we can see we've hit our binding pry on line 15. So now we have access to our key and values, our key and value on line 14, and we can figure out what those are pointing to. So key is color, we have iterated on the color hash. So really, really, we're only looking at our iteration here of this hash and we have the key being color and the value I'm going to guess, let's not mess up our data, value is red. If we iterate again, we're still on line 15. Let's type in key and then value. 
perfect. And we can see now we have made our second iteration. And if we iterate again by typing exit, we have now iterated through this first um, array of hashes. We've iterated through the first hash. And now we are back up at our um, binding pry on line 12. So my guess is that we are going to hit color hash is going to be this second hash. And let's type that in here and check that out. And perfect. That is correct. And let's exit. And now we are back on line 15 where we can type our key, color, value, purple. Exit is going to iterate again. And then key, uh, hex code. And then value is going to be the string of the hex code. And what's really nice about our uh, pry console is it has everything in colored so it's easier to see our data as well um, and now if we want to exit we can exit our complete uh, pry console we type exit exclamation point and we are out of it so down here I've actually put the iteration I've commented it out but this is what our method above actually is going to output to our terminal. So first it is going to, on all separate lines, it is going to output our first hash for our first iteration. And then we have chosen just to um, print the value, the first value, so that would be the red. And then our second value, which is going to be the string of hex code right here. And then again, we're iterating um, our color hash and we are printing out color hash and it is we can see our second hash being printed here and again printing out the value pairs in that hash and then again our third hash being printed so binding pry is a really useful tool especially when understanding iterations and the values of certain um, or understanding the assigned values of things like our color hash and key value, they can really help us when it comes to larger nested data structures. Be sure that if you are setting it up under an iteration, you are setting a binding pry up under each iteration. And I think that is about it for this lesson. I hope that everyone learned something. Leave feedback in the comments below. Thank you.